Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Brian and I'm back again with another video. Thanks for joining us on Harley Scoots and Cowboy Boots. Today I have a basic video, um, just a little tutorial on doing the A1 Cycles vent kit, the crankcase vent kit. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt. You know, I don't know if it's absolutely necessary on my engine because I already have the, uh, the MJK um, external breather. So you can see that those those lines that come out of the out of the heads and go under the air cleaner, you know, those those go into a line right here that that actually drains out next to the swing arm. I'm going to install the A1 vent kit. Um, you know, it can't hurt. And, you know, it, that it's a big engine. It's one hundred and twenty eight cubic inches. And uh, there's a lot of air moving around in there. So the breather system that's on there was, you know, it's designed for a stock bike. And um, with the uh, higher compression and the bigger cubic inches, I think you have a little bit more air. So maybe the uh, stock, you know, positive crankcase ventilation system isn't, um, you know, maybe it's not up to the, up to the task. So we're going to install this into the crankcase. <laughs> we're going to install this. Uh, it takes the place of the uh, um, the oil dipstick, and it just it vents out any positive pressure into the atmosphere, which is exactly what the EPA doesn't want. So uh, let's get to it. It should only take about five minutes. Let's go. All right, let's put that there. So here's the here's the kit. There's the breather. So I got it right now. I got it connected up. Everything's connected up. Um, so you pop this off, just like that. Get that together. So this is your, this is your, um, you know, this is your dipstick, your vented dipstick. You can see the hole uh, right there. That's a, that's a, that's a big hole. No check valve required, and you have the oil level stick. So you got a mark on here, right there for the oil level. So that's good. So you still have your oil level. So I'll put this up here, and what they recommend is you take off the oil cap. Just like so. All that nice synthetic oil on there, well, nice and thick right now. So they want you to um, take a little bit of the oil off of here and put it onto the gasket that goes around here. So I'll put a little on my finger here, put that up here on the rag, and then we'll just we'll put a little on the gasket, you know, the O-ring. No problem. All right, wipe that off. All right, so there we go, right in here. Screw that in. Get that, I'll snug that right on there. And then, so they want you to take this, 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 this end here. This has to be out of the wind as you're riding, because evidently, if the wind blows by this fast enough, it can create a suction and actually suck oil out of the crankcase. So what they want you to do is they want you to have this, this part here up in here. So he recommends you take this hose and you, you feed it through, feed it through up here. He said, don't worry if the hose touches the heads because it's rated to like 700 degrees. So we get it in here, feed it through. So you can, and I was worried you were gonna have to take the tank off to do this, but no, no worries with that. So they want you to just take this, put it up under here, under the throttle body, because it gets, there's not much wind, not much air flows through here, I guess. That's, that's their uh, theory. So just like that, I don't know if you can see up under there, put this down a little bit. You can see up in there, here it is right here, behind the air cleaner, all right. So then you just take the hose, and he said, you don't have to worry about it hitting the head because uh, it's rated to 700 degrees. So, and then you just pop it on. Pop it on just like that. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. So let me uh, fix this up here. 
so yeah so you got the the breather is up in there and then it goes down behind the head i'm going to clean it all up now it's all good fingerprints all over it then you go right here you got the vent right there pretty easy yeah i think it was you know it was about a hundred bucks or maybe uh 90 bucks i don't even remember it was pretty cheap and um pretty cheap insurance so I'll get this thing out as soon as the snow leaves. So we'll get it out. We'll take it for a rip. Make sure there's no issues. Make sure there's nothing, no oil coming out of there or anything like that. And um, get the bike all cleaned up. I got to get it all detailed up. We're heading to Daytona in like two and a half weeks. So, you know, it's, um, I got to get this thing cleaned up. If you guys recommend like any kind of a ceramic coating or anything, uh you know drop it into the comments or whatever because um i want to get it all detailed up it's very cold outside so i kind of have to do a dry wash and um i've been using uh the chemical guys v07 let's see if i can find it <sighs> if i have it out here uh, yeah got it right here so this is what i've been using um if you can see that the chemical vi chemical guys v07 now I live in a very salty environment. We live on Cape Cod, so it's very salty up here. You have, um, you got the beaches. We ride it. We ride the beaches all the time. We are, um, you know, we're riding on salty roads in the winter. And so I use this stuff. It's been great. I've been using it since I got the bike. I've had the bike since 2019. And um, it's great. It, it protects the bike very well. You can spray it on anything on the bike. So... If you guys recommend anything, you know, that you like better, I've used just about everything. So uh, if you hit me up, you know, let me know. But anyway, that's it. That's all it was. And uh, pretty easy. I'll let you know how it works, you know. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll suck, but I'm sure it won't. Anyway, have a good one. We'll catch you later.